Welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Administrative Distance. Most routing protocols have metric structures and algorithms that are incompatible with other protocols. It is critical that a network using multiple routing protocols be able to seamlessly exchange route information and be able to select the best path across multiple protocols. If not, a router might be presented with a problem where two routing protocols such as EIGRP and OSPF have two best paths to a certain network and the router does not know which route it should use. Cisco routers use a value called administrative distance to select the best path when they learn of two or more routes to the same destination with the same prefix from different routing protocols. The administrative distance is the value between 0 and 255. The lower the administrative distance value, the higher the protocol's believability or trustworthiness. This is a list of the default administrative distance of the protocols supported by Cisco routers. Directly connected interfaces have an administrative distance of zero because the path is directly connected to the desired network. The protocol does not even have to guess if the path leads to the network. Static routes have an administrative distance of 1 because this is the path that the network administrator specifically configured the packets to go. The other protocols were given their default values for other various reasons. We are looking at a scenario where all the network routers are configured with the RIP protocol. Packets from network A are being sent to network B. Since the RIP protocol uses hop count to decide the best path between networks, it will choose the Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface to forward the packets out of. The Ethernet interface is only one hop count away from network B, but both gigabit Ethernet interfaces are three hops away. Now, we have OSPF configured on all the routers. OSPF uses the value of calls when deciding which interface to send packets out of. In this example, Gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 0 offers the best calls for sending packets from network A to network B. This time, the routers are all configured with EIGRP in this scenario. Network A router chooses Gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 1 to forward packets to network B. This is because a composite of matrix called K values indicate that the gigabit ethernet 1 slash 1 is the best path. In this last example, we have configured RIP, OSPF, and EIGRP on all the routers. RIP has an administrative distance of 120. OSPF has an administrative distance of 110, and EIGRP has an administrative distance of 90. When the network A router has to decide which interface to forward the packets out of, it will choose Gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 1 because EIGRP has the lowest administrative distance, and the router will take whatever path it selects. We saw how routers will use administrative distances when deciding which interface to send a packet out of.
when it has multiple choices. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.